is Vega, and I'm a professor with the Computer Science and Engineering Department. And today we're just going to, to let you know a little bit about what we do at, at Technical Lisboa. Um, so I'll be talking a little bit about some facts and figures, okay? Then our academic offerings, some uh, information about the student associations and their activities, and the links to research and industry. And then at the end, you can check a number of contacts that we're going to, to, to leave. Okay, so some facts and figures about studying and living at day, okay, at the computer science and engineering department uh, in Technical Lisboa. So we are one of the youngest departments, okay, we were only established in 1978 and the school is already over 100 years old. Uh, and it actually all started with, uh, with our bachelor in computer science and engineering. In, in English, the acronym is LAKE and it was uh, set up in 1990 at, um, at Technical. Our department has over 1,000 students uh, that study um, uh, on three main bachelor programs, six master uh, programs, and two PhD programs. And uh, our department is one of the largest in the in the in the school, as as about 80 faculty professors. But we also have the help of often over 100 teaching assistants drawn from our previous um, uh, alumni and, and and PhD students and and. Uh, and the researchers, uh, and you operate in both campuses, okay? Alameda, uh, in both campi, Alameda and um, and uh, Tacos Park. Uh, our academic offerings. So, we have uh, two uh, uh, main first uh, first cycle bachelor programs. Officially, they are uh, counted as three programs, but uh, uh, one of them runs in both uh, Alameda and uh, and Tacos Park, and is the original one, okay? So the computer science and engineering uh, bachelor degree, like. But we also have a bachelor degree in telecommunications and informatics engineering, and the acronym is LETI. Uh, we have a number of uh, master programs, okay, that two of them follow um, on, in continuity with the bachelor programs. Make the master the master in computer science and engineering that also operates in both in both campi, and METI, the master in telecommunication and informatics engineering. And more recently, we have some more masters, one on distance learning. On information and enterprise systems, and uh, we collaborate in the coordination and teach uh, a lot of the courses in, in two new, in two more recent masters: data science and en engineering and uh, biomedical engineering. And besides this, uh, day the, the uh, computer science and engineering department of Technic, we we operate on a number of MOOCs and we have a, a very large number of postgraduate, advanced, and executive courses and programs because even industry. Uh, um, often contacts us as to set up uh, special proposed um, uh, programs for, for them. And we have two uh, PhD programs, okay? The, the, the largest one, the, the PhD in Computer Science and Engineering, DAIC, and a more recent one uh, focused more specifically in information security, okay? Um, besides studying, um, uh, and this overall information about studying, I, I want to take the opportunity to talk about one of, specifically about one of our programs, okay? A master program that is taught in English whenever and every time there is someone from abroad in this, in this master. And this is one of our largest programs, okay? It's actually the main graduate offering in computer science and engineering, both in Technic and the University of Lisbon. It operates in, in the Alameda and Tacos Park campus. Um, and uh, it is a 120 ECTS uh, program, okay, with 48 ECTSs in core courses, um, 42 in project and dissertation, but you also have six uh, ECTSs in communication skills and outreach, and you can choose up to 24 ECTSs, basically four courses, okay, from any other program in Technic and any other program in the University of Lisbon. Okay, so because we want students to also be exposed to, to something extra be, besides computer science and engineering. It's a, it's a large program. Okay, we have roughly 500 students. 20% of them are female, which is a little bit uh, above average in the University of Lisbon, even though uh, it's a very, uh, nonetheless, it's a very good figure for a, a computer science and engineering program. And we have Yearly, we have around, sometimes more, but we yearly we have around 50 international and Erasmus students, okay? Um, we, we have a, uh, an intensive activity, okay? We defend over 200 master theses every year, okay? In a number of uh, scientific areas that, uh, that you may see there. And uh, yes, other, 
are the programs at IST, okay, but especially our own. It has virtually full employment, okay? Everybody gets employment in their area of expertise. And very often, which is uh, both a blessing and a curse, uh, very often, even before completing the degree, okay? Um, with this overall framework, how is the course structured? Uh, so, uh, Ours, uh, our program was the one of the first in IST to allow almost full freedom to students to select their uh, their curriculum. Okay, so students can choose can choose their own path, and uh, except for the for the project and the dissertation and the communication skills courses, all the courses can be chosen freely. Okay, including the core courses, they can be chosen freely from the from the the program curriculum, uh, and because many students. Uh, besides having freedom, they want some pre-late uh, structure to their to their studies. Okay, they want to follow some specific uh, themes or some specific uh, uh, expertise. We have organized the, the program around these thematic specializations that are free to 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 select from and to pursue. But they they lay out a, a kind of framework that students can follow, and uh, students can do zero one or two of these specializations and they are organized around um, um, around three main three main lines job profile based based on the on the curricula from acm and ieee the, the the largest international organizations in computer science and engineering uh, like software engineering enterprise systems and it systems management but we also have some uh, specializations that uh, address in-depth studies on one of the specific scientific areas of the department and you can do algorithms and applications, intelligent systems, distributed systems, information systems, and interaction and visualization. But besides that, and students often combine one of these with one more horizontal one, we have a set of specializations targeting specific innovation topics or specific topics in the labor market and collaboration with other departments at Technical Lisboa, bioinformatics, cyber physical systems, cybersecurity, data science and engineering, games, information language technologies, and uh, robotics, okay, intelligent robotics. Um, but since life is not just about studying, okay, I want to tell you a little bit about our student associations. So at the, at the day, at the computer science and engineering, we have uh, two main student branches, okay, uh, and their main goal is to foster academic and personal development to, to help students when they're, they're, they are in in some kind of, of, of difficulty in their studies, okay, and even in, in their in their own lives, okay. And the whole idea is to promote team building and increase um, uh, outside awareness about uh, the students' activities. So we have two main student branches that typically organize workshops, competitions, dinners, and parties. The CS, the Computer Science and Engineering Student Branch, NEIST, and the and the um, uh, Technology and Informatics Student Branch, NETI. The first one, NEIST. Uh, also has a, a job and internship uh, special office, okay? And they also organize CIFU, the Semana de Informatica, the Informatics Week, that is a, an IT fair organized solely by students. It's a very large event, and it often has international speakers, and it's solely organized by the, by the students. And we also have some student clubs, okay? I'll, I'm going to name, name uh, only two, uh, that are... Um, are um, dedicated to specific subjects, okay? Game dev at Technic, game development in the company-like scenario. We have uh, connections to some, some game studios and, and uh, students very early work uh, in this, in this uh, kind of environment. And we have um, a security team at Technic, okay? Uh, let's say a hacking team that was already visited by the, the president of the Republic. And it's the, they are the top national team in hacking, and they are around 50th in the world, typically, okay, in the, in the, in the last few years. Um, okay, research and industry, when you are about to graduate, and even before you graduate, when you are um, uh, developing your dissertation work. So, uh, faculty uh, at the Computer Science and Engineering Department are linked to mainly to four uh, research institutes where we carry out uh, um, uh, international and, and national research projects. The students develop their, their thesis work, and we also do innovation and, and consulting for, uh, for companies. And those four, four institutes are INESCID, okay, in computer science and electrical and computer engineering, INOV, 
which is which also carries out research but is more dedicated to innovation and interface with the industry uh it okay research and development in the field of telecommunications and the e iti ETE, on interdisciplinary human computer interaction linking uh, computer science with psychology and and design and a number of other uh, disciplines and we are also okay uh, proud and happy to have a number of companies that uh, collaborate with us either sponsoring the student classrooms and the laboratories okay or even developing work with us and with 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 the, with the, with the professors uh, namely also uh, in uh, supervising uh, student thesis okay i won't name them all but they they are there for the for the record and we we are very thankful to 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 them so uh we're about to end i just want to leave some some context there so if you are interested in more information about the department itself and um, and the academic offerings uh you can you can check out the the the, the top links okay we, there are links for each individual program but in this link you can you can um, start browsing all of them the, the links to the student associations, okay, the two the two branches, the HTMT and Game Dev and the security team at Technico, and the, the links, the top links to the research uh, research labs, INESC, INOV, uh, IT, and uh, ITI at uh, at Larsis. And that's all. Thank you very much.